Well, developing tonight, a group of outraged students in Spalding County say they were blocked from praying at Griffin High School. Yeah, those students tell Fox 5 that it's been a tradition for years for students to meet and pray around the school's flagpole before class. But this morning, those students claim the school blocked their access to the pole and to their right to practice their faith. Fox 5's Portia Bruner is live tonight in Spalding County with the story. And Portia, what are administrators saying about these claims? Well, the administrators are saying it's possible this really could just be a miscommunication, perhaps even a lack of communication between the students and the administration. They say they're going to work with the students, but say next time a heads up would be nice. I felt uh, violated. A little violated. Why? Like, like my rights were being infringed as a Christian and as a student. Austin Everett says he, his sister, and several Griffin High School classmates were not allowed to participate and pray at the poll day. It's a national event observed by students across the U.S. And the 17 year old senior says, based on the student handbook, he thought he had followed the rules for leading the prayer Wednesday morning. No direct school staff involvement and no activity after the start of class. Still, he says the assistant principal refused to let the group step outside to these flagpoles around 7.15 a.m. He told us that in order to do that, we would have to form, a, form an organization and have it approved through the school board. You equip them to, you know, as you're growing up, to, to be strong and to stand in what you believe in, no matter what that is. And then when they go out there and someone blocks them in such a way, it's just, it just hurts a mama's heart. The Everett's are frustrated because students at other Spalding County schools were allowed to pray at the polls. This photo was taken at Kennedy Middle School, this one at Spalding High. Sophomore Kaylee Shelton was there. Well, and nobody stopped you, no one said anything? No, ma'am. How did it feel to be a part of that? It felt really good that other students and children could be so bold in their faith and so courageous. Spalding County School District spokeswoman Judy Parker confirmed students from several schools participated in the national event. Yes, and I'm sorry that this student did not uh, talk to his administrators in advance or the day before and say it's something we've got an interest in and they would have been prepared for that. Austin says he did make the students' intentions clear and hopes there will be another opportunity to pray at the polls. It's not something that we're doing to, to be seen, but it's something that we're happy to be seen doing. So I can tell you a person from uh, the Griffin community who saw our story at five came by and said, uh, didn't want to talk on camera, but did say uh, that they were familiar with the situation, that the school would really like to work with this family and these other students so that they can do the prayer. But he says that it's just important to follow the school protocol. We're reporting live in Griffin. Portia Bruner, Fox 5 News. All right, we'll wait and see what happens. Portia, thanks.